everyone, so today I thought I would film a little day in the life video for you um, to see what I get up to behind the scenes um, and in the day to day running of Crafty So and So. So um, I'm starting here at home, my um, little one Mia is just here um, and we're getting ready to go to nursery today and then um, from nursery I head into town um, and open up the shop. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, the start of the day. We've gotten up. We've had breakfast. We... I want to have breakfast. <laughs> Mia would like second breakfast. Um, we're just about, yeah, we're just getting ourselves ready, pootling on in, and then heading into um, Mia's nursery. Um, come with me on my day-to-day uh, -day adventures of, um, of cra running Crafty so and so Now I'm walking into work. I often cycle, but today, because I've dropped Mia off, I am walking, um, but I've got to go to... Tesco's and pick up some milk and a couple of other bits before I head into the shop, so it'll be a nice little detour anyway. So I didn't feel like filming in Tesco's because you know far too many people, but um, I did get what I needed, including some things I maybe didn't need. But uh, I'm going to be doing the window display this afternoon, so I'm really quite excited by that. And seeing as the pumpkins are out, I thought it would be um, a nice addition. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd grab them and now I'm suffering because I've got to carry them um, into work. I've got one in my arms and two more in my rucksack. into the shop a little early so I can run a few errands. I'm heading to the bank, I'm heading to the post office, um, and then I'm opening up. So um, yeah, let's go and do those before we can get started with the rest of our day. Okay, so I'm back in the shop. And I've opened up, so now I'm ready for the day. Um, I have got a few things on my to-do list today, so I've got a couple of orders um, I need to fulfil from the website. Um, I'm working on the um, finishing off the window display because um, it's just like it, I just really felt like it needed a bit of a, a zhuzh. Um, and then I've got a few new fabrics to get out online, so hopefully I've got time for everything to do there. So one of the fun things about opening a bricks and mortar shop is you never know who's going to walk through the door on any given day. Um, it could be someone who's got a huge project that they want um, supplies for, um, it could be people who, um, friends who've come in for a chat, um, it's really nice um, but you never can really plan your day in the same way as you can in a studio or an office because um, you know things, just, things just come up. Um, but. Uh, yeah, let me show you what I'm working on first. So it's starting with um, some things for the window display. Um, and um, I've got some autumn leaves which I'm sewing into garlands. Um, let me show you. So I've bought a load of these leaves in, in different colours, um, in different shades, um, and I'm just um, sewing them into like garlands so I can hang them in the window and give it a nice autumnal feel. Um, and then I've got the pumpkins that I purchased earlier, so they're going to go in the window um, as well. And I've got, then I'm finding all the little baskets that we've collected over the years, and I'm putting those um, with nice um, things to tempt people into the shop with as well. So it's going to look really nice. Um, I'm going to be sewing on, come with me, um, the um, Inibus 1800Q, which is this machine. And this is one of the ones that we have as a display model in the shop, and it's a fantastic machine. It's got a huge throat, it's got eight inches, um, which is a fan it's just, just perfect for larger projects um, like quilts or coats or jeans. Um, and then it's got like a thousand stitches um, as well, so it's really useful um, for doing quite a lot of different sewing um, projects. Um, we use it a lot in our quilting workshops as well because it's got that bit of extra space. Um, but it's, yeah, I'm really enjoying using this machine today. I always love a day when I can come in and do a little bit of sewing, even if it's just a small project like this. Here are my um, leaves, so there's you know, a nice selection of them. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna sew those together real quick for you now. So, there's one garland. I've done around six now, so I'm gonna go put those 
um, in the window and see how that looks um, and see if I need to do more because I've got lots more leaves I can make them out of. Um, it's just making as many as is required. I've done one window um, and it looks really great um, but it's time to stop for a bit of a tea break I think. But before I do that let me just show you um, uh, what I've done. This is the window I've done behind me. Um, so you can see I've got the um, leaves hanging down and I've popped my pumpkins in the window as well. Um, and then I've just dressed it with some nice wooden Thing, bits and pieces that we sell in the shops. So I think I'm really pleased with that. Sorry, it's really bright, but this is the other window that I just need to put the um, the leaves hanging down and put a top on that lady there. But I'm gonna head in and make myself a cup of tea now. And with tea in hand, I can carry on. Yay. I'm really excited today because we've had a delivery from Safid Studios, which makes um, these amazing um, laser cut wooden jewelry. Um, for dressmakers. Um, so this is actually my necklace that I bought from um, Swede when, uh, so from Becky uh, when she um, relaunched her shop earlier in the year um, and now we've got a nice range in um, to sell in the run up to Christmas as well. So um, we've got my big necklace up there as well, Ooh, there we go, um, and then the little brooch pins which I, um, which I was also lucky enough to be gifted when I bought my big one um, and then we've got the tiny scissors as a necklace um, and a stitch ripper necklace as well, so they're really lovely and I'm really excited to have um, been able to um, get those out of the packaging today. Um, they're in store um, and they'll be online as well, so um, you should be able to buy them from us wherever you are. So I'm thinking next um, I'm going to have a pause for lunch and then um, this afternoon I've got some sampling and some sewing to do. Um, so I'm going to um, turn you off for a bit and come back when I've... Uh, when I've finished eating um, and I'm back at the sewing machine. See you in a bit. So I'm starting on my sampling now. So I did want to make a top for the half-dressed lady who's in the window. She's currently topless, but we will um, come to that because I can't find the pattern I was planning on using. Um, so I'm gonna have to put a pin in that for the time being. Um, instead, I'm gonna work on the quilt that I need to make. So I'm doing a really simple um, square quilt um, with um, with six uh, different prints and it'll be about six by six um, uh, it'll be six by six cut squares and then we'll see how big we can make it um, I've gone for some nice orange cottons and some purple cottons and I think they're quite like um, they go with the clothes that we've got in the window and they're a little bit autumnal but not like obviously so so they'll be really nice all together so I'm just gonna um, crack on get those cut out um, and um, try and get as far ahead with that project as I can uh, before going home time. Um, so that's the rest of my afternoon now, um, just waiting uh, just that and waiting for customers to come through the door. So it's been quite busy today. Um, so it's, I'm not filming customers of course because I don't want to have to deal with um, getting their permission and things. So, um, but yeah, so it's been a nice busy day. Um, but I'm just showing you the behind the scenes. Um, so I'm going to crack on. Okay, watch me now. So now that's all cut out, I'm going to arrange it how I want it and then sew it together. So I will save you um, that bit and I'll just show you how I get on um, in a little bit once I've started, once I've finished sewing all those pieces into a nice simple uh, grid design. So I'll show you. Doing a little happy dance, woo! Uh, just sold a lovely sewing machine to a lovely lady who popped in um, to upgrade her machine, so that's really exciting, and she's going to be so pleased with the one she's gone for. Um, it makes me really happy to help people find um, the right sewing machine for them, um, and they love having a little test drive on our different models. So woohoo! Happy day! Um, still, uh, so that's um, interrupted my working on the quilt top, but I'm going to get back to that now, and hopefully I can get the quilt top done by the end of today. So that's my net. That's my plan. Let's see how that goes. This is the layout I've gone for, so um, hopefully I'm not going to see anything now, but I've aimed to keep every row um, with one of each and with no um, repeats. So um, it's kind of like a very carefully thought out random pattern. I mean, it's going to look really lovely, so I'm really pleased with that. So 
So I have um, finished my quilt top and I've popped it in the window um, even though it's not a finished quilt because um, it's probably going to take me another week until I can get around to um, quilting and binding it so I thought I'd just pop it in there so people can see the fabrics but um, that took me about two hours to do that quilt top um, and there was a couple of customers and things in between um, so that was pretty good going. Um, it's just a really nice simple design um, so um, yeah uh, it's a nice one for beginners if you just want to have a quick go at qu um, simple quilting. Cut yourself um, some big squares um, and you can get, what is it, six, six and a half inch squares out of a quarter of a metre of fabric. And then if you do that in six different fabrics, you get a quilt around a metre by a metre. Um, and if you want bigger, do more, cut more squares and that can be of different fabrics or the same fabrics but in the... Um, but more of them um, and um, yeah that's a very nice way to kind of have a go at quilting um, to start you off. So it's actually five o'clock now so I've got some exciting tasks like emptying the bins and doing the washing up which I won't which I'll save you um, but then I'm heading home um, to spend some time with the family so um, thank you so much for watching today's vlog I hope you've um, enjoyed it um, I've had um, a lot of fun taking you on my my journey with me for today um, but yeah uh, if you um, yeah, if you ever want to pop into the shop please do I love having visitors um, and um, always welcome to say hi in the comments please don't forget to subscribe to our channel the link as always is below thanks again see you soon bye now